Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. If you want to know how to get back your ex-girlfriend and boyfriend, click the link below. Being cheated on by my first wife completely changed my mindset. My first wife cheated after only 10 days of marriage. I found out from a neighbor. I was away at sea, she had a girl's night out and hooked up with a guy. When I returned home she acted all loving to me, the neighbor invited me round to have a beer one night and told me that a guy had been a regular visitor while I was away. I was devastated but not because she had cheated but because I found out from someone else and when I challenged her about it she denied it. When I went to sea again she did exactly the same thing. I was playing dutiful husband and called her from the USA where my ship was berthed. I could hear someone in the background and she told me it was her cousin who was also in the Navy. When I got home I challenged her again and again and she denied it. It was only when I told her that she had no cousins in the Navy that she broke down and confessed everything. The last straw was when I went away again not long after our daughter was born. She cheated again and again and she denied everything. I decided to get sneaky, I told her I was going on a course for two days. I left the house and booked into a hotel for two nights. During the evening on the road the house was on and we sat waiting to see what happened. No more than five minutes after we arrived a car pulled up and a guy got out. She let him in and obviously went straight upstairs as the bedroom light went on. We gave them half an hour or so then I quietly let myself into the house and made my way upstairs while my buddy waited by the front door. The bedroom door was open so I stormed straight in. There she was with another man between her legs. Her look of shock was brilliant. Instead of kicking the guy out, I just told him thanks and said he was welcome to her then left the house. She did eventually marry the guy but then cheated on him with his dad. So how did it change my mindset? I have always been a modern thinker, I have also never been a person who could cheat and lie about it. I got rid of my first wife because she lied, she hid her cheating from me, even when there was proof of her cheating she lied to my face. The thing is if she had told me she wanted sex with other men I would not have had a problem, we could have had an open relationship which in later years I had with a wonderful woman. We were swingers, we explored our sexuality together and with others but we never hid anything. Even when she couldn't get hold of me to tell me she wanted to have sex with a young guy who had been hitting on her, she went and had sex with him then as soon as she got home she told me about it. My first wife could have had the same type of relationship but she was a compulsive liar. I look at the world today and there are far more opportunities to have a successful alternative lifestyle yet still people can't open up to each other about wanting to act on their fantasies. Jealousy is a huge problem in that sense. Communication in a relationship is key. All relationships will go through the point where sex is a mundane thing with the same person however, as my last relationship showed being open and honest and sharing experiences can result in a relationship that is fun and long-lasting and full of trust. Here are the best comments, advices that I gathered for this wonderful story. Do not buy a house with someone you are not married to and especially with someone you have never lived with long term. Not many people go into relationship and move in together or purchase houses together with people they don't plan to spend the rest of their lives with, but this sub is full of people in dire straits over decisions they made while in the heat of new passion. If you are bound and determined to live together, lease a house with an option to purchase or just rent a house for a year. After a year of living together and the thrill of sex five times a day wears off, you will have a good idea if this is everything you thought it would be. Besides, if everything is as great as you say, you should be engaged within six months and married within a year so long-term housing will take care of itself. Good luck. Navy myself. Saw this happen to so many guys. Then it happened to me. Agree totally about the honestly thing, that's literally the only thing that matters in a relationship. Only thing. But my ex was the same way, just could not tell the truth. It ended up costing her everything. More story here. Struggling to accept my new reality. My, 29F, 7-year relationship with my husband, 29 meters, has ended. We had been struggling for a while. He was dealing with an identity crisis and was unhappy. He did not think he could ever make me happy and was struggling with what he wanted his future to look like. In August, all the issues came out and he told me he had given up on us. He had stopped communicating these things with me. It was more or less out of the blue. I never saw any of our issues as deal breakers. I always felt like there were ways to compromise to meet both of our needs, wants. So we set down a game plan to move forward and I went after it like crazy. I took care of my needs and really focused on pursing things that made me happy. He was supposed to cut off ties from a female colleague, 22F. He had allowed himself to get close to and get therapy to figure out what he actually wanted in life. 
A couple of weeks ago he came back from a grad school trip. We always had these conversations after he went out of town. I anticipated it every time. We had another heart-wrenching conversation about us. He still said he was not happy. We talked for several full days. I finally was able to get him to tell me the truth. He had not cut ties with the female colleague. He said he'd been living with the guilt since August, but didn't want to hurt me so didn't tell me he had been having an emotional affair with her. Since she entered our lives, she was a red flag for me. I opened my home to her with the understanding that I could 100% trust my husband to not let boundaries be crossed. I had previous trauma from a prior relationship ending because of an emotional affair. He very much knew how this would devastate me. I did not imagine him capable of it. He was my best friend. I told him I could forgive him. That we would need therapy and we could move forward. He was shocked that I still wanted to fight for our marriage and didn't just kick him to the curb then and there. He said he needed time away from home to think about what he actually wanted, to stay or go. We've been separated for two weeks. I asked him to do two things to give us a way to move forward. 1. Cut her out completely and 2. Go see a therapist and take care of himself. He started therapy last week. He was optimistic about it. This weekend he was required to go on a grad school sponsored trip to a national park. He went and sent me the occasional photo. When he got back, I happened to stumble upon a mutual friend's Instagram story. The female friend, a non-student, had gone on the trip too. He hadn't planned on telling me. I guess he didn't think I'd find out, but I did. I demanded he come face. I asked him why he could not stop interacting with her for just two weeks. Why it was so hard for him to let her go. His response, I was scared of losing my best friend. I was supposed to be his best friend. He had said so many times before. He has talked with his mom about the situation. She also made a point of telling him this woman needed to be cut out of his life if we were to ever have a chance again. So it's over. His actions have been screaming at me and I am finally listening and acting myself. I can't do anything and I'm not going to continue fighting for someone who continually puts another woman's needs in front of his wife's. I know I need to start mourning and let it all go, but it just hurts so much. He's not a bad guy and I honestly feel like she manipulated him to stay in her life. The entire situation has shocked a lot of our mutual friends and family. I guess I just need to know that it gets better and that it's okay to be your own person. I also want to be loved and fought for. I need to know that there is still time and being divorced does not make me less of a person or damaged. I want to find my person and follow my dreams in life without losing myself to another person. Because I did lose myself trying to give him what he needed and waiting for him to get to a point where he could make time for me. I sacrificed my happiness. After the conversation in August, I made a 180 in life and really focused on my wants and desires for once. I am continuing on that path. It just looks very different now. There is so much more to this story. I could probably write a novel on it, but I suppose you'll get the point. TLDR, spousal betrayal is hard. Need encouragement that helps me move on and let it all go. Here are the best comments, advices that I gathered for this wonderful story. Full stop here. He is the one that married you and said vows or made promises to be your husband, she wasn't. You gave him more than enough opportunities to change and he wanted his cake and to eat it too? Not a bad guy? He lied to you, he deceived you, he committed adultery and cheated on you, that is all abusive and can leave scars far deeper than physical abuse. Get a good therapist now. All evidence you have if you were in a fault state, take to the best attorney, get three consults or more, from the best in your area. Then he cannot have the best, because it would be conflict of interest, and pick one, he caused the divorce, he needs to pay for it. Totally ghost him. Block him, do not live with him or allow him to live with you. He can communicate with you through your attorney. And for God's sake, figure out why you feel you are not worthy. This man and the other in your past, not worthy of you. She fell in love with the guy you created. The guy you supported. Now that he doesn't have you by his side, he'll not be so attractive to her. He'll earn less than when you were paying for everything, especially now that he has to pay for his own place to live. He probably won't be as fun now that she is the one that has to help him through identity crisis and depression. She's a kid, she did not sign for what's coming to her. He asked for the couple of weeks to see if the grass is really greener while having you in his life as plan B it's time that you find your own worth and dump him. Start the 180, Grey Rock, go no contact as much as possible. You deserve someone that will love you and value you, but for that to happen, you need to take out the trash, so that it won't stop you once that man finds you. Hugs. Congratulations for being proactive in your own life. You are definitely on the path to recovery.
Remember that recovery is not a linear path, there will be good days and bad days, but things will get better. Take heart that at least you didn't have any children with him. Please keep us updated on your life post-divorce. I have a feeling it will be very different and much improved. I often remind people that perhaps this was the universe's way of removing your husband from your life so that you will be open to receiving the new life and love that is awaiting you. I wish you the best of luck on this next chapter of your life. All that rubbish that your husband had been spouting about wanting to find himself and not being sure what he wants for his life was lies the whole time he was actually just trying to come up with a way to get out of his marriage so he could get with the 22-year-old. He's a coward, wasn't man enough to be honest with the one person he should have been honest with. You definitely deserve someone better than that. It will get better, but it will require you to make some big changes in your life, so that you open up new doors and get out of your comfort zone. If you try and keep living how you are living, and don't change things up, it becomes hard to break free from the onslaught of trauma and feelings that you've been saddled with. New stuff, provides new adventures, excitement and a lot of distraction over what has happened in your old life. It also opens you up to meeting new people. Your husband is the one that is to be blamed here. He made a choice to take her along on that trip. At the end of the day, we need to face reality that cheaters lie, manipulate and deceive the ones they love to get what they want. He was honest with you when he mentioned he was not happy. Now, you will get to see his true colors of your husband, now that everything is out in the open. In the meantime, focus on your own well-being and mental health as he clearly made his choice. You can survive this. My thought is that your son needs to grow up and quit acting like a lovesick teenager. Kudos to you for finally realizing that life's too short to put up with those kinds of shenanigans. Don't be too surprised if when the affair fizzles out he comes crawling back telling you what a colossal error he made and that he realizes you were his one true love. Be strong. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for more